Southside Venus details the life of African-American artist, teacher, and community member Margaret Burroughs. Joining us now is the author of that book, Marion Kane. Marion, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Sierra. Fine. Nice Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. So your book here, Southside Venus, is about Margaret Burroughs. But what does she have to do with Fort Wayne? Well, it goes back a while. Um, I met her in 2003. I was researching a novel that I was writing at the time, and I needed information on Bronzeville. I went to the DeSable Museum. They didn't have any information, but I was talking to a security guard. The security guard brought me to a registrar. The registrar brought me to Margaret Burroughs. Margaret Burroughs, I met her. We had lunch. She said, why don't you bring me to Fort Wayne? She does, um, she was an artist, but she also was a poet. So we brought her for our visiting writer series at um, PFW, it was IPFW then. And um, then we had a, the Three Rivers Djembe Ensemble brought her back the following year. She made a very deep impression on people here. And when she died in 2010, I wanted to do a, a tribute to her. So at the time, we had the Three Rivers Institute of African Arts and Culture, which the Djembe Ensemble kind of morphed into. They had coffee houses. I did a coffee house in tribute to her, and I thought, oh my goodness, this is somebody who I really care about and that the community cared about. I learned a lot about African American history while I was working with the Djembe Ensemble, with K2 Olatawa in particular. And so I decided I need to write a book about her. And so the Fort Wayne connection was important because she, a lot of people already knew her, including K2, including Condor Ridley, including uh, other people in the community. Um, Hannah Stith, who runs the African, African American community, who recently passed. And um, so she, she just, uh, she had a very big influence, not only in Chicago, not only in Fort Wayne, but internationally. Right. And the title, Southside Venus, what does that mean? Um, well, the, paint, the, the print is actually called Black Venus, okay. but because Margaret was so um, much a fixture on the south side of Chicago, we wanted to mm -hmm. represent that she was the Venus, like <laughs> the Botticelli painting, the, uh, the, the Venus rising right. off the clamshell. Right. So that's, that's the um, black Venus. And you're having a big party to celebrate this book. Can you tell us about that? Yes, we're going to have a wonderful, exciting celebration. It is sponsored by the uh, uh, PFW's Institute of Research, Scholarship, and Creative Endeavor. Brainchild of Connie Crocker, Boots on the Ground is Tina Gasnaris. But the wonderful performers who are going to be joining me in celebrating art as activism will be um, Condra Ridley, who is a storyteller par excellence. We have your own Tara Brantley, <laughs> who is going to be dancing while Condra reads a poem by Dr. Burroughs. And Ketu Oladawa is going to be summarizing and reflecting the event and Dr. Burroughs' life. And a wonderful musician who you probably know, Michael Patterson, is going to be playing music. So we're very excited about this event. There'll be a reception and a book signing at 6 o'clock, and around 6.45 I'll be talking, and then the program will continue from there. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. And that event is February 8th, correct? Correct. All right. Well, Mary Ann Kane's book signing will also be taking place during that event, celebrating arts and activism. It's at the Ian Roland Gallery, and like we said, on February 8th. Find all the information on Wayne.com a little bit later today. We'll be right back.